Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to tell about a story which is called Rainbow Slide Adventure. Enjoy it! In the bustling town of Sunnyville, there lived a curious and adventurous girl named Mia. Mia had bright, twinkling eyes and a smile that could light up even the cloudiest day. She loved exploring the woods, fields, and hills around her home, always in search of something new and exciting. Her best friend, a playful dog named Max, was always by her side. One sunny Saturday morning, Mia and Max decided to venture into the woods behind their house. The birds were singing, and the flowers were blooming in a riot of colors. Mia packed a small bag with snacks and a bottle of water, and the two set off, eager to see what they could find. As they wandered deeper into the woods, Mia noticed a path she had never seen before. It was overgrown with vines and wildflowers, almost as if it were hiding from the world. Intrigued, Mia decided to follow it. Max, always ready for an adventure, bounded ahead, wagging his tail excitedly. The path twisted and turned, leading them deeper into the heart of the woods. Suddenly, they came upon a clearing. In the middle of the clearing stood an enormous, ancient oak tree. Its branches spread wide, creating a canopy that seemed to touch the sky. Mia felt a sense of awe and wonder as she gazed up at the majestic tree. As they approached the tree, Mia noticed something strange. There was a soft, shimmering glow coming from behind a cluster of bushes near the base of the tree. Curiosity getting the better of her, Mia pushed aside the bushes and gasped in surprise. There, hidden from view, was a colorful, sparkling slide. It seemed to be made of light itself, with every color of the rainbow swirling and shifting along its surface. The slide twisted and turned, disappearing into the depths of the tree trunk. Mia could hardly believe her eyes. Wow, Max! Look at this! Mia exclaimed, her voice filled with excitement. Max barked happily, wagging his tail as he sniffed around the base of the slide. Mia's heart raced with excitement. She couldn't wait to see where the slide would take them. Taking a deep breath, she sat down at the top of the slide and gave Max a reassuring pat on the head. Ready, Max? Here we go. With a whoosh, Mia and Max were off, sliding down the magical rainbow slide. The colors swirled around them, filling Mia's heart with joy and wonder. The slide twisted and turned, and Mia felt as if she were flying through a dream. After what felt like a thrilling eternity, the slide finally came to a gentle stop. Mia and Max tumbled off the end and landed softly on a bed of moss. They were no longer in the woods but in a place unlike anything Mia had ever seen. They found themselves in a beautiful, enchanted meadow. The grass was a vibrant green, and flowers of every color dotted the landscape. A sparkling stream wound its way through the meadow, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of blossoms. Mia looked around in awe. This place is amazing, Max. It's like we've stepped into a fairy tale. As they explored the meadow, they met many friendly creatures. There were talking rabbits, singing birds, and even a family of deer who invited Mia and Max to join them for a picnic. Everyone was cheerful and welcoming, and Mia felt an overwhelming sense of happiness. After the picnic, Mia and Max continued their adventure. They followed the stream and soon came to a quaint little village. The houses were made of gingerbread and candy, and the streets were lined with colorful lanterns. The villagers, who were tiny, magical beings called sprites, greeted Mia and Max with open arms. The sprites told Mia that the rainbow slide was a magical portal that only appeared to those with pure hearts and a sense of adventure. They explained that the slide connected their world to the human world and that they had been waiting for someone like Mia to find it. Mia was delighted by this news. She spent the rest of the day exploring the village, playing games with the sprites, and learning about their magical world. As the sun began to set, the village was bathed in a warm, golden glow. 
Mia knew it was time to head back home, but she promised the sprites she would return soon. The sprites led Mia and Max back to the rainbow slide. With a wave and a smile, Mia said goodbye to her new friends and climbed back onto the slide. The ride back was just as thrilling, and soon Mia and Max found themselves back in the clearing by the ancient oak tree. As they made their way home, Mia couldn't stop thinking about the incredible adventure they had just had. She knew that the magical world of the rainbow slide was always waiting for her, just a slide away. That night, as Mia drifted off to sleep, she dreamed of colorful slides, enchanted meadows, and friendly sprites. She knew that this was just the beginning of her rainbow slide adventure. The next morning, Mia woke up with a sense of excitement bubbling inside her. She couldn't wait to return to the magical world she had discovered. After breakfast, she packed her bag again and set off with Max, eager for another adventure. When they reached the ancient oak tree, Mia was relieved to see the rainbow slide was still there, shimmering in the morning light. She took a deep breath, sat down on the slide, and once again, they were off, zooming down the magical path of colors. They landed back in the enchanted meadow, where the sprites were waiting for them. Welcome back, Mia and Max, called out a sprite named Luna, who had become Mia's new friend. Luna was a tiny, winged sprite with a sparkly dress and a crown of flowers. She fluttered around Mia and Max, her wings leaving trails of glitter in the air. We've been waiting for you, she said, her eyes twinkling with excitement. There's a special quest we need your help with. A quest? Mia asked, her eyes wide with curiosity. What kind of quest? Luna explained that deep in the heart of their magical world was a hidden treasure, lost for many years. This treasure was said to hold powerful magic that could bring great joy and prosperity to the Sprite Village. However, only someone with a brave heart and a pure spirit could find it. Mia's heart swelled with determination. We'll help you find the treasure, Luna, she declared. Max barked in agreement, wagging his tail eagerly. Luna smiled and handed Mia a small, ornate map. This map will guide you, she said. But beware, the journey is filled with challenges and tests. You must stay brave and true to find the treasure. With the map in hand, Mia and Max set off on their quest. The first part of their journey led them through a dense, magical forest. The trees were tall and ancient, their leaves shimmering with a silvery light. Mia and Max followed the path marked on the map, marveling at the beauty around them. As they walked, they heard a soft rustling in the bushes. Suddenly, a group of friendly forest creatures emerged. There were squirrels, rabbits, and even a wise old owl. The animals greeted Mia and Max warmly and offered to help guide them through the forest. The owl, whose name was Oliver, perched on a low branch and spoke in a gentle, wise voice. To find the treasure, you must solve a riddle, he said. Listen carefully, I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I come alive with wind. What am I? Mia thought for a moment, her brow furrowed in concentration. She loved riddles and was determined to solve this one. After a few moments, she broke into a smile. An echo, she exclaimed. Oliver hooted with delight. Correct, Mia. You are truly clever. You may continue on your journey. With the animals guiding them, Mia and Max made their way through the forest and arrived at the edge of a sparkling lake. The water was crystal clear, and they could see colorful fish swimming below the surface. According to the map, they needed to cross the lake to reach the next part of their journey. As they pondered how to get across, a graceful swan glided over to them. Hello, travelers, the swan said in a melodious voice. I can help you cross the lake, but first, you must answer my question. What has keys, but can't open locks? Mia smiled, feeling confident. A piano, she answered. 
The swan nodded approvingly. You are right. Climb onto my back, and I will take you across. Mia and Max carefully climbed onto the swan's back, and she gracefully swam across the lake. The journey was peaceful and serene, with the sun shining brightly overhead. When they reached the other side, Mia thanked the swan for her help. They continued following the map, which now led them to a towering mountain. The path up the mountain was steep and rocky, but Mia and Max were determined to reach the top. As they climbed, they encountered a group of friendly mountain goats. One of the goats, named Greta, offered to help them. We know these mountains well, she said. But first, you must show us your bravery. There is a narrow bridge ahead that you must cross without fear. Mia took a deep breath and looked at the narrow bridge. It was made of ropes and wooden planks, swaying gently in the breeze. She knew she had to be brave. Holding Max's leash tightly, she stepped onto the bridge and began to walk slowly and carefully. Max followed close behind, his eyes wide but trusting. Halfway across the bridge, Mia felt a surge of confidence. She realized that being brave didn't mean not feeling scared, it meant facing her fears and pushing through them. With this newfound courage, she and Max made it to the other side safely. Greta and the other goats cheered for them. You did it! Greta exclaimed. You are truly brave, Mia. Now, follow the path to the top of the mountain, where you will find the entrance to the hidden cave. Mia and Max continued their climb, finally reaching the top of the mountain. There, they found the entrance to a dark, mysterious cave. Luna's words echoed in Mia's mind, stay brave and true. They entered the cave, which was illuminated by glowing crystals embedded in the walls. The path through the cave was winding and narrow, but the crystal's light guided them. At the end of the cave, they found a large, ornate door with intricate carvings. Mia took a deep breath and pushed the door open. Inside, they discovered a vast chamber filled with sparkling treasures. Gold coins, precious jewels, and magical artifacts were piled high. In the center of the room stood a beautiful chest, radiating a soft, golden light. Mia approached the chest and opened it. Inside, she found a glowing, magical crystal. As she touched it, she felt a warm, comforting energy flow through her. The crystal's light grew brighter, filling the chamber with a radiant glow. Luna and the other sprites appeared, their faces beaming with joy. You did it, Mia. You found the lost treasure. Luna exclaimed. This crystal holds the magic of our world. With it, we can bring joy and prosperity to our village once more. Mia felt a sense of pride and happiness. She had completed the quest and helped her new friends. I'm so glad we could help, she said, smiling at Luna. With the crystal safely in their possession, the sprites led Mia and Max back to the village. The entire village celebrated their return, throwing a grand feast in their honor. There was music, dancing, and laughter, and Mia felt a deep sense of belonging. As the celebration continued, Luna presented Mia with a special gift, a small, enchanted pendant. This will allow you to visit our world whenever you wish, Luna explained. You and Max are always welcome here. Mia thanked Luna and the sprites, feeling grateful for their friendship. As the sun set and the stars began to twinkle in the sky, Mia knew that this was a day she would never forget. When it was time to leave, Mia and Max made their way back to the rainbow slide. With one last wave to their friends, they slid back to their world, their hearts full of joy and wonder. That night, as Mia lay in bed, she thought about the incredible adventure they had experienced. She knew that the magic of the rainbow slide and the world of the sprites would always be a part of her, and she couldn't wait for the next rainbow slide adventure. The days in Sunnyville seemed brighter after Mia and Max's adventures. 
Mia often thought about the magical world and her new friends, eagerly awaiting the next opportunity to visit. One Saturday morning, Luna's enchanted pendant began to glow, signaling that it was time for another adventure. Mia grabbed her bag and called for Max. They hurried to the ancient oak tree, where the rainbow slide awaited them. With hearts full of excitement, they slid back into the magical world. This time, Luna and the sprites greeted them with even more excitement than before. Mia. Max. We're so glad you're here, Luna exclaimed. We need your help again. Something very precious to our world has gone missing. Mia's curiosity was piqued. What is it, Luna? Luna explained, a long time ago, a unicorn named Stardust roamed our land. He brought magic and happiness wherever he went. But one day, he disappeared, and we've been searching for him ever since. Recently, we've found clues that he might be trapped in the dark forest. Mia felt a surge of determination. We'll help you find Stardust, Luna. Just tell us what we need to do. Luna handed Mia a silver key and a piece of parchment with a map. This key will unlock the gates to the dark forest. The map will guide you, but be careful. The forest is filled with challenges and tricky paths. With the key and map in hand, Mia and Max set off toward the dark forest. As they approached the forest, the atmosphere grew darker and more mysterious. Tall, shadowy trees loomed overhead, and a thick mist swirled around their feet. Mia held the key tightly as they reached a large, iron gate. She inserted the key into the lock, and with a creak, the gate swung open. Taking a deep breath, they stepped into the dark forest. The path was narrow and winding, with strange noises echoing around them. Mia and Max walked cautiously, keeping their eyes on the map. The first challenge they encountered was a deep, wide chasm. The map showed a riddle that would reveal how to cross it. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? Mia thought hard, then smiled. A map. As soon as she spoke the answer, a magical bridge made of shimmering light appeared, spanning the chasm. Mia and Max crossed the bridge carefully, feeling relieved when they reached the other side. Continuing their journey, they encountered a dense thicket of thorny bushes blocking their path. The map showed another riddle. I am not alive, but I can grow. I don't have lungs, but I need air. I don't have a mouth, and I can drown. What am I? Mia pondered this for a moment before replying, fire. Immediately, the thicket parted, creating a clear path for them to walk through. Mia and Max moved forward, more confident with each step. The final challenge was a deep, dark cave. The entrance was guarded by a stone statue of a fierce dragon. The map revealed the last riddle. I am taken from a mine, and shut up in a wooden case, from which I am never released, and yet I am used by almost every person. What am I? Mia's face lit up with understanding. A pencil. The dragon statue's eyes glowed, and the cave entrance opened, revealing a tunnel lined with glowing crystals. Mia and Max walked through the tunnel, which led to a hidden clearing in the heart of the dark forest. In the center of the clearing, surrounded by a soft, golden light, stood Stardust the Unicorn. His coat was pure white, and his mane and tail shimmered with all the colors of the rainbow. He looked at Mia and Max with gentle, grateful eyes. Mia approached Stardust slowly, feeling a sense of awe. Hello, Stardust. We've come to take you back to the Sprite Village. Stardust nuzzled Mia affectionately, and she felt a warm, magical energy flow through her. Max barked happily, his tail wagging in excitement. With Stardust leading the way, they made their journey back through the dark forest. The challenges they had faced seemed to melt away in Stardust's presence, 
and soon they were back at the edge of the forest, where Luna and the other sprites were waiting. The sprites cheered with joy when they saw Stardust. Luna's eyes sparkled with happiness. Thank you, Mia and Max. You've brought Stardust back to us. Our world is complete again. The entire village celebrated their return with a grand festival. There were magical performances, delicious food, and joyful music. Stardust roamed freely, spreading his magic and happiness to everyone. As the festivities continued, Luna presented Mia with a special gift, a small, enchanted bracelet. This bracelet is a symbol of our gratitude, Luna said. It will always remind you of the bond we share and the magic of our world. Mia slipped the bracelet onto her wrist, feeling a deep sense of connection to her friends in the magical world. Thank you, Luna. This means so much to me. As the sun set and the stars began to twinkle in the sky, Mia knew it was time to return home. She and Max said their goodbyes, promising to visit again soon. With one last ride down the rainbow slide, Mia and Max found themselves back in the clearing by the ancient oak tree. The world around them seemed brighter and more vibrant, filled with the magic and joy of their adventures. That night, as Mia lay in bed, she looked at the bracelet on her wrist and smiled. She knew that no matter where she went, the magic of the rainbow slide and the world of the sprites would always be a part of her. And so, Mia and Max drifted off to sleep, dreaming of colorful slides, enchanted meadows, and the next rainbow slide adventure that awaited them. I hope you enjoy listening to Rainbow Slide Adventure.